One who is clearly perfect from the bottom to the top. One who is the princess of perfection. This is going to be a fantastic women's match. Wolfdog, where's the bell? I didn't bring it. I thought you brought it. It's your job to bring the ring. Oh, Wolfdog. Why do you blame me for everything? Well, because everything is usually your fault. That's not the point. Blair Alexis now. And Wolfdog, we have seen a lot of ruction, a lot of action in the women's division. Our champion, Indy Hartwell, is looking for a new challenger. Savannah Summers coming out recently and saying, I clearly respect you. I want to battle against you. And Indy completely disrespecting Savannah in return. Well, I, th I think she was thinking, and, and I'm just making assumptions here, that you know, Savannah Summers was taking her spotlight away, showing her disrespect, so she belted over her head with the belt. Taking her spotlight away, she came out to congratulate her on a successful title She defense. could have stayed out the back. Impressive Indy Hartwell just had a big win. She could have just let her celebrate her victory. But Savannah Summers had to come out, spotlight hog as she is. I cannot believe I'm hearing you, of all people, say bad things about Savannah Summers. You, wolf dog. I'm just stating what I think. I might be wrong. I don't, I don't have a problem with Savannah Summers. I'm you trying would to explain be insane the situation. to have a problem with Savannah Summers. I'd also probably have a death wish, but I don't. Both of these women absolutely deadly in that ring. Blair Alexis has recently gone up against impressive Indy Hartwell, took her to the limit. Mickey Fortune also involved in that match. And of course, impressive Indy Hartwell actually won her RCW Championship. Back at Superclash when we first came to HQ. That's right. A fantastic match from winning it from the former champion, Casey Johns. And hopefully a win here for one of these ladies will put them into that top contention spot. Or definitely have Luke Santa Maria looking at them as a possible title, a title challenger to our champion. There has never been a better time in the history of this industry for women's wrestling. And you are looking at two of the peak athletes. Savannah Summers, of course, will be competing in World Series Wrestling's Defend and Destroy Tour next month in March. Look at this, Blair Alexis. Oh, the power of the assets. Well, that's it, you know, you've got you to use all your assets and why not? They are definitely the most dangerous assets in Riot City. And hey, much like Savannah Summers, uh, I've got no problems with Blair Alexis either, as again, I do not have a Oh, look at that, hip attack. These women both incredible athletes. Uh-oh, we know what comes oh, next, look goodness. out. Well, that's uh, a bit of a rude awakening here in uh, HQ for Savannah Summers. I think I know what might be coming next too. Uh-oh. Here. Uh-oh. It comes. Wow, oh boy. Look out below. Oh! Well, that's not very nice. It is a definitely a way to get yourself out of trouble, though. And Savannah's the, just saved herself. Kicked her in the caboose. Big reversal there by Blair Alexis now. Well, there's no. Savannah tried to get around her, but oh. oh, look at the strength of Blair Alexis. You cannot, you went, cannot uh -uh. muscle that young woman around. Oh, absolutely. Tried to go around, and Blair Alexis had none of it. Look at this now, Blair Alexis. Cannonball! Wow, just ran her over. Uh-oh, and she's off the ropes now. Going for the big splash. That's it, it's over. No. Savannah Summers showing the sort of resilience that has made her a multi-time Riot City Wrestling Women's Champion. A belt she very much wants to hold again. You know, we haven't seen a lot of her in RCW in the last few months. She's been traveling all around the country, all around the world. Winning championships in other promotions as well. Oh, absolutely, but her first love is being right here. She is the first lady of RCW. One thing I always point out is that when Savannah came up in the ranks, there were no other women to wrestle. She learned to wrestle against the men, against world-class Chris Basso, against Grimm. She is a hellaciously tough competitor. Hellacious being my word tonight, apparently. And when Savannah did start her actual career, she started as a valet. So this young lady has gone from being a valet to ringside to be one of the top women's wrestlers on the planet Earth. Wow, look at that. And I say that without any fear or reprisal whatsoever. Can she get her up? Not about getting her up. She got her down now, but can she turn this, turn this into a pinfall? Trying to turn her around. Not enough. Keeping that pressure applied, however, using it as a submission, perhaps. 
Smart. As Lexus is now making Blair Alexis really gasp for breath here. It's going to sap the strength away from her. Meanwhile, Savannah Summers is going to have a chance to get her head back together and get a breath herself. But look at this now. Blair Alexis turning that into a pin, pinfall attempt there. So here you go, Sean, I'll put you on the spot. Who's your favourite lady here? My wife. She's in the crowd. Oh, that's, a, that's a cheap answer. I'm contractually obliged to answer with that. Big back over there by Savannah Summers now. Oh, look at this. Both ladies wow. having the same idea there. That's that veteran instinct of Blair Alexis coming out as well. We've talked a lot, of, a lot about what Savannah's done, but don't forget, Blair Alexis has competed around the world. She has competed at Ohio Valley Wrestling. She is well-traveled and well-trained. Absolutely. She's got well over a decade, easily, of experience. In terms of a serious answer to your question, Wolfdog, I would be very happy to see either of these young women go on to face impressive Indy Hartwell for the RCW Women's Championship. This is just going to be a top quality match. Oh, big boot to the face there. Savannah now goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Laura Alexis still managing to kick out. Great to see your mate Skinny Ref back in the ring again. Yes, Skinny Ref. Well and truly recovered from his skinny injury. Skin injury. Skin injury. Skin injury. Mm. Oh, Blair's got her back where she wants her. Oh, this is not She's a, not wasting any time this now. Is not a good place to be for Here Savannah. it comes. Well, there. Oh, well, there it goes. Attacked by the assets. Could oh. she be thinking? You know what she's thinking? She's thinking this is my opportunity to win this match. Once upon a time, we would have called this a bonsai drop. Well, I know what it's about. Sam was needs to move too, and that's get out. Oh. That's exactly that. Get out the way, because that would have been the end of this, without a doubt. Savannah Summers down. Rolls her up. She got her. I'm going to take the champ's name in, name in vain for a minute, Wolfdog. That was an impressive victory. Oh, you may pay for that a little bit later, mate. No, I stand by what I said. Well, impressive India Hartwell better look over her shoulder because the Princess of Perfection is gunning for her. You know India Hartwell will be watching this match. Like, oh, look at oh that's fantastic. These two. Absolute sportsmanship from both these women. Clob her up, clob her up. Clob. Oh, come on. But hit issue when she wasn't looking. Great competitor there, Blair Alexis, but a well-deserved victory for Savannah Summers. Well, could we be looking at Indy Hartwell's next challenger right now?